Hi Big Tractor Power fans, this video comes to you from a snowy northeast Iowa field where an Agco White 6215 tractor and John Deere 714 mulch tiller are working on primary tillage. This tillage team is working up the residue left over from the previous year's corn harvest, breaking up compaction in the soil, and preparing the seedbed for next year's corn crop. In this video, we're going to take a look at the specifications, production history, and original price tag of the Agco White 6215 tractor. This was the largest row crop tractor available in the White Farm Equipment line from Agco during the mid-1990s. And we'll also take a look at the specifications of the John Deere 714 mulch tiller. But first, let's head out to the field so you can see and hear all this farming action. The 6215 was new for model year 1994 and was the top end machine in the Agco Workhorse series of tractors that ranged from 143 to 200 PTO horsepower when they were first introduced for model year 1993. They included the model 6145, 6175, and 6195. The new 215 PTO horsepower 6215 would top the silver line of tractors for most of the 1990s. The 6100 series of workhorse tractors introduced for model year 1993 were the first major design change in 18 years in the white tractor line. Back in 1974, the new white farm equipment line rolled out with the Field Boss tractor design, which would carry on all the way through model year 1992 with the first generation of workhorse tractors that ranged from 125 to 195 PTO horsepower. The 6215 tractor was manufactured at the famous New Idea factory in Coldwater, Ohio from 1994 through 1998. Agco manufactured high horsepower White, Agco Alice, and Massey Ferguson tractors during this time period on the same assembly line. The 6215 is powered by a CDC Cummins 8.3 liter 505 cubic inch engine rated at 215 PTO horsepower. It features a Funk John Deere full power shift transmission with 18 forward and 9 reverse speeds. The tractor is fitted with a 91 gallon diesel fuel tank and weighed in from the factory at 19,310 pounds and can be field weighted up to 25,538 pounds and the original price tag of the Agco White 6215 in the mid-1990s was $120,000. The Agco White 6215 tractor is pulling a John Deere 714 mulch tiller, also known in the farm equipment industry as a coulter chisel. It has 18 coulters up front that help size and reduce the cornstalk residue and has 11 shanks working 7 inches deep, working up compaction and burying that residue. The tractor is running this 13 foot 9 inch implement at 5.8 miles per hour across the field. The 714 mulch tiller is available in a variety of sizes from John Deere. Starting at 11 feet 3 inches equipped with 9 shanks and 16 coulters going all the way up to a 21 foot 3 inch model equipped with 17 shanks and 28 coulters. There is also an 11 shank model which you see working in this video and a 13 and 15 shank model. 
The 714 mulch tiller is produced at John Deere's Des Moines Works, located in Ankeny, Iowa. This factory produces self-propelled sprayers, cotton harvesters, a variety of tillage equipment, and grain drills for John Deere. The list price, according to JohnDeere.com, for an 11 shank, 13 foot, 9 inch, 714 mulch tiller is $27,094. The Iowa farm that this Agco White 6215 tractor is part of is a loyal customer of Agco and they definitely like the color silver. This cornfield was harvested earlier in the year by a model year 2014 Gleaner S68 combine. This 390 bushel machine was harvesting corn eight rows at a time with a Gleaner 3308 Command Series corn head. Keeping the 322 horsepower Class 6 Gleaner combine rolling through the corn harvest nonstop is the farm's model year 1997 Agco White 6175 workhorse tractor teamed up with a Brent V700 grain cart. Both the 6175 and the 6215 were purchased brand new back in 1997 as a pair. They help haul grain on this farm and complete tillage tasks. It's really neat to see how this farm has kept a silver tradition going with the tractors and updated with the newer Gleaner Combine. I hope that you've enjoyed spending some time out in the snowy Iowa cornfield on a 20 degree day with 25 mile per hour winds. I think it's always neat to see big farm equipment like this Agco White 6215 workhorse tractor and the John Deere 714 mulch tiller working up the ground in snowy conditions. It's kind of like watching a canvas being painted as the tractor and the culture chisel work their way back and forth across the field. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there's over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. Make sure to click on the notifications bell as well so you'll know when the next Big Tractor Power video is released. New videos are coming out almost every day from the channel. If you have any questions or thoughts about this video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching. Yeah.